A very good morning. You're watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. I am Ruth Nasuj and here we look at stories making headlines across the country. We start in Wakiso district. Now the old boys of St. Mary's College, Kisubi Smak, have made an anonymous decision to immortalize brother Anthony Chema in appreciation of his enormous contribution to the development of their school. They have named him after a three billion level block which they are currently constructing Constructing at the school. Lemi Mugwana, an alumnus of SMAC, made this decision during the requiem mass of Brother Chema at St. Mary's College Chapel on 23rd November 2017 while delivering the eulogy of the alumni. Chema succumbed to brain cancer on the 22nd of November 2017. Now, news coming in from Lira, the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, has launched St. Catherine Old Girls Association and donated 10 million shillings as a startup drive to raise funds to construct two dormitories at the school. Kadaga is an old girl of the school situated in Boroboro Parish at the Quark sub-county in Lira District. The area district woman MP Joy Atim Ogum also pledged 2 million shillings while Cora woman MP Judith Alek also pledged 2 million shillings. Dr. Agnes Apea, who was selected by BBC among 100 most influential women in the world pledged one million shillings. She's also a former student of the school. The fundraising drive follows concerns by the head teacher Nagwaros Nakwangala over inadequate staff and students' accommodation. We move on to Kavale District. Now, a 38-year-old man in Kavale District is in police custody after allegedly defiling his 13-year-old daughter. Dennis Muchunguzi, a resident of his senior cell, Chasanu Parish in Kamganguzi sub-county, is accused of defiling the primary three pupils of Chasanu Primary School. Eli Mata, the Chigezi Regional Police spokesperson, said Muchunguzi, who divorced his wife a few months ago, has been living with his mother and his two children, the victim and her young brother. It is said he would return home drunk to saw his mother and son and then defile his daughter. Mata said Muchunguzi committed the act between October and November 2017. Now moving on to Hoima district, residents have asked police and local leaders to find a solution for the rampant cattle theft in the area. The residents are worried about the vice that has been on the rise since March this year, where animals, mostly cattle, are being stolen. Isaac Kirunji, a resident of Chiaga village in Buhimba sub-county, whose entire herd of 20 cows was stolen early this month, argued that some farmers are now forced to sleep in the same building with their cattle to protect animals. He asked the police to intervene and investigate the thefts and bring the culprits to book. Karunji noted that the act is likely to increase poverty and discourage people from rearing cattle. And now in Nakasongola district, the Uganda National Bureau of Standards has intensified the fight against substandard products in the country. The body last week destroyed toilet paper rolls valued at 6.4 million shillings at Luwero Industries in Nakasongola district. The destruction followed countrywide seizures carried out by the UNBS market surveillance team and Uganda Police Criminal Investigations Directorate. In October, samples of PL PL toilet paper brand were tested by UNBS and failed to meet the recommended standards. The length of the sheets and the substance were below the recommended qualities. And finally, in Mukono District, now Mukono Municipality Member of Parliament, Betty Namboze, has voted to sue Parliament for alleged failure to protect her while on duty during a parliamentary session. Namboze said it is the mandate of the Speaker of Parliament to protect the legislators during sessions and while they are within its premises. She said on September 27th, when Igara East MP Rafael Machezi was said to table a bill aimed at amending the Constitution, Parliament was besieged by security operatives who beat up and injured over 10 MPs who were against the bill. Vision Grip is spearheading a campaign against HIV AIDS. New Vision TV is also highlighting stories and such. But a tip, if you're pregnant and living with HIV, a virus in your body could pass into your baby's blood or after giving birth through breastfeeding. So taking HIV treatment virtually eliminates the risk. 
we are winning the battle together. However, for more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV, visit our website www.newvision.co.ug. I am Ruth Nasujeh.